Can the Philippines become the world's best tourist destination? The Philippines is quietly emerging as the world's best tourist destination. Skeptics who underestimate the Philippines might think it's impossible. Given Asia and other parts of the world have more popular destinations. But remember, I'm not talking about how it is now. I'm talking about how it will be soon, especially in the year 2040. In one of my videos, I talked about how the Philippines will become one of the best places for tourists by 2040. I suggest watching the whole video for more details. Nonetheless, here's a quick preview. In 2040, the Philippines will be the second best tourist destination in the world, and it will receive 15 million tourists by 2040. First, let's start by checking out which places are the most popular for tourists in Southeast Asia. Let's start by looking at the number of tourists in each country. Malaysia had the most tourists in Southeast Asia last year, with 26 million visitors from January to November of last year. Thailand came second with 24 million tourists during the same period. Singapore with 12 million tourists and Vietnam had 11 million. Other countries like Indonesia, the Philippines, and Cambodia had fewer than 10 million tourists. As of late November of last year, the Philippines had 4.6 million tourists, while Indonesia and Cambodia had 9.5 and 4.4 million tourists. While it's true that many Southeast Asian countries share a tropical climate, each one offers unique experiences and attractions that set them apart from each other. While there may be some similarities in terms of climate and certain tourist activities like beach relaxation or exploring tropical landscapes, each country has its own distinct culture, history, cuisine, and attractions. For example, Thailand is known for its vibrant street food culture, while Indonesia boasts volcanic landscapes and diving spots like Bali. Vietnam offers rich history and delicious cuisine. Meanwhile, the Philippines is renowned for its pristine beaches and vibrant marine life. So, while Southeast Asian countries may share some commonalities due to their tropical climate, each destination has its own unique charm and experiences to offer travelers. But why Malaysia attracts a huge number of tourists? What makes it different from its Southeast Asian neighbors? The primary reasons are a strong tourism industry with ample funding for advertising and promotion overseas, excellent infrastructure and convenient access. Additionally, Malaysians can speak English. It's their second language because Malaysia historically was a British colony. Also, Malaysia's multiculturalism is a major draw for tourists. The country's multicultural society comprised primarily of Malay, Chinese, and Indian communities. Unlike Malaysia, countries such as Thailand and the Philippines are homogenous in terms of culture, with a dominant ethnic group and less pronounced diversity. What about Thailand? Why does it consistently receive a huge number of tourists. Thailand was among the distant places advertised to Westerners in the 1980s as a fascinating and dreamy location. Today, many people who haven't been to Thailand still have a particular picture of Thailand in their mind and want to go. As a result, Thailand has always been a dream exotic destination in Asia for Westerners or much longer compared to newer destinations like Indonesia or the Philippines. Furthermore, Thailand's location in Southeast Asia is a big plus. It's right in the middle of everything. It takes just three hours to get to Hong Kong, two hours to Singapore, four hours to Bali, and it's halfway between Australia and Europe. This makes it easy for travelers to hop to other popular destinations nearby. What about Singapore? Singapore receives many tourists for many reasons. We know that Singapore is known for its efficient and modern infrastructure. Additionally, Singapore is also renowned for its cleanliness and safety. What these countries have in common, Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore, 
is that they all understand how important tourism is for making their economies grow. That's why they invested so much into building things like hotels, roads, and other infrastructure projects to make it appealing for tourists and investors. This is why they always attract so many tourists. But since this video focuses on tourism in the Philippines, I will not focus too much on tourism in other Southeast Asian countries. Why did I mention that the Philippines is on track to become the top tourist destination globally? How will the Philippines become the number one tourist destination in the world? Before I answer this question, it's important to understand how well Philippine tourism is doing right now. The tourism industry flourished during the late 19th to early 20th century due to the influx of immigrants from Europe and America. It was listed as one of the best countries to visit in Asia, aside from Hong Kong and Japan, earning the nickname Pearl of the Orient Seas. The tourism declined during and after World War II, leaving the country with a completely devastated economy and a landscape filled with destroyed heritage towns. The second wave of tourist influx flourished in the 1950s but declined drastically during the Marcos administration. After the people power revolution, the tourism industry continued to decline. The industry only managed to cope in 1991 and 1992, where 1 1.2 million tourists visited the Philippines. The tourism industry flourished again at the early part of the 2010s under the It's More Fun in the Philippines slogan of the administration of President Aquino, which was regarded as an international success. The country saw an influx of foreign tourists. Tourism reached its peak in 2015 with 6 million tourists' arrivals recorded. Tourism is an important sector for the Philippine economy. The travel and tourism industry contributed 6% to the country's GDP in 2022. Coastal tourism, encompassing beach and diving activities, constitutes 25% of the Philippines' tourism revenue, serving as its primary income source in the sector. While the Philippines has encountered political and social challenges that have affected its tourism industry, the country has also taken steps to address these issues. Over the past years, there have been efforts to improve political stability and enhance security measures. What makes the Philippines an attractive tourist destination for travelers? Reliable transportation. The Philippines has slightly better and more reliable flights, trains, and boat travel between islands. It's easier to travel from one place to another in the Philippines, and the public transport is cheap and reliable. If you're looking for a more adventurous holiday to a country barely visited with raw natural beauty and lots of culture to discover, then the Philippines could be a better option than Indonesia. With the Philippines receiving less than 10 million tourists a year, and Indonesia receiving close to 20 million, you'll find that both offer vacations that feel more cultural and less touristy than vacations in neighboring countries like Thailand. And this is the beauty of the Philippines. It does not draw massive crowds of tourists. This translates to numerous delightful tourist spots, particularly for those who prefer less crowded destinations. Just picture having an entire island all to yourself. English is recognized as one of the Philippines' official languages due to the country's education system which is primarily taught in English and its ties to Western culture. Many locals can converse in English. From hailing down taxi cabs to ordering food at a local restaurant, English-speaking tourists can get by in the Philippines without having to speak Tagalog. Travelers who love the party scene should visit the Philippines. While Manila is home to a variety of bars, destinations such as Boracay, El Nido, Surga, offer tourists beautiful beach views while enjoying a night out on the town. Budget travelers looking to party will appreciate how far their money can go in the Philippines. You can often find great street food and drinks when strolling through the town. The island of Luzon is considered the political and economic center of the Philippines. The economy of Luzon is centered in Metro Manila. Manila was ranked 11th the most attractive city for American shoppers out of 25 Asia-Pacific cities. 
by a global blue survey in 2012. The most popular destinations in the Visayas are Cebu and Boracay, known for their white sand beaches and have been favorite island destinations for local and foreign tourists. In 2012, Boracay received the Best Island Award for the International Travel Magazine. In 2018, three Philippine islands, Sergao Island, Boracay and Palawan, were listed on Condé Nast Traveler's List of Asia's Best Islands. Mindanao is home to the country's highest mountain, Mount Apo. The mountain has become a popular hiking destination for mountain climbers. For those of you who want to visit the Philippines, here are the best places to go. Number 1. Boracay There is a reason that Boracay Island is considered the beach capital of the Philippines, because there are more than 12 beaches. This tiny island in the West Visayas region is ideal for beach goers who are after simple relaxation in the sun or water activities. White Beach on the west side of the island is one of the best beaches in the Philippines. This island is known for its many resorts, so finding a place to stay is easy. Number 2. El Nido It's a stunning place to visit in the Philippines for its clear water lagoons, marine life, coral reefs, and limestone cliffs. El Nido is known for its pristine beaches and island hopping adventures. Bohol. It's a destination that showcases the country's natural beauty. One of the most unique natural wonders on the island is the Chocolate Hills. Bohol is home to a family-owned sanctuary for the tiny Tarsier primate, known for its large, engaging eyes. For a small fee, you can take an intimate walk through the grounds and stand inches away from the tiny Tarsier. Vegan. The historical city of Vigan is one of the most charming towns to visit in the Luzon region. Its culture is a fusion of Chinese and Spanish influences, originating from settlers to the area. Davao City For a city seen outside of Manila, head to Davao City, which has a large metropolitan area. Davao City is the main city in the southern Philippine region of Mindanao. Coron Island one of the top diving destinations in the world, Coron Island is a tropical paradise with electric blue and green water that almost seem unreal. The island is popular for diving because of its numerous wrecks here. Baguio Baguio is a city tucked away in a mountainous region in Luzon. Though it's a city, Baguio is intimate and reminiscent of cottage-type environment. Baguio is called the city of pines for the rich pine forests and cooler temperatures that surround it. Samal Island On Samal Island, also called Garden City of Samal, hiking, diving, and kayaking are a way of life. The island of Cebu in the central Visayas region is considered the port to some of the best diving and snorkeling in the Philippines. If you're an underwater enthusiast, Cebu is one of your best options for excursions that get you up close to whale sharks, coral reefs, and sea turtles. Now let's talk about the Philippine Tourism Global Awards. Number 1. Manila was named the world's leading city destination. The Philippines took center stage at the World Travel Awards Ceremony in Dubai, bagging four major global awards, including holding onto its 2022 titles as the best dive and beach destination. Making history, Manila claimed its first ever award as the best city destination. While the Philippines earned the inaugural Global Tourism Resilience Award, recognizing its global leadership and innovative solutions to overcome challenges. Standing among only five nations and destinations to receive this inaugural award, the Philippines is acknowledged as a benchmark for implementing best practices in tourism resilience. More global victories for the Philippines include a Manapolo named the best dive resort and city of dreams Manila. Number 5. The Philippines named Asia's best cruise destination 2023 by World Cruise Awards. This is the first time the country has received such recognition. How is the Philippines planning to become the world's best cruise destination? Mainly through foreign investments. Fortunately, the Philippines has issued the implementing rules and regulations for the amendments to the Public Service Act. The Act allows for 100% foreign ownership of public services in the country, such as railways and airports. Starting April 1st, 2023, 
select sectors such as railways, airport, expressways, and telecommunications are now open to 100% foreign ownership. Previously, these sectors were limited to 40% foreign ownership. The Philippines has signed a tourism cooperation deal with Japan, promising to expand opportunities for tourism development between the two countries. As the Philippine government hopes to attract thousands of Japanese tourists, Japan intends to inject 4 billion USD into the Philippine tourism sector. The funds will be directed towards various initiatives aimed at enhancing infrastructure. Foreign investments in the Philippines have been on the upswing lately and are expected to keep growing until they peak by 2040. By then, the Philippines is projected to become the second most visited country globally. Looking ahead to 2050, it's anticipated that the Philippines will claim the title of the world's premier tourist destination. Is it possible for the Philippines to become the world's top tourist destination?